Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. We're going to be talking about women in politics and local politics, how you can become more involved with what's going on in our town and nationally. We're all kind of patriotic here. Everybody's got their red, white, and blue on. Mario's very good. Mario's, yeah, I got the little flag back there. Break it out, Cam. Yep. So uh, we're getting ready for, for tomorrow. Uh, election day. Election day. Big day. Big yep. day. And something else that's coming up is Thanksgiving and being thankful for all that we have. I and love Thanksgiving. Yeah, I do I too. Really it's my do. favorite holiday in our house. It, do you host? I don't host. Dinner. That's why it's your favorite That's holiday. That's why I was just going <laughs> to But the thing is, then you go somewhere else for dinner, and then you have no leftovers. Uh, that's the sad oh, part. Oh, you don't that's have the bummer carry out. Oh, oh, but we take, take trays. Yeah. yeah. Come home with us. Well, and I actually buy Tupperware containers and keep them at my house extra for Thanksgiving, so everyone leaves really? with containers. That's like the Portuguese. Tell her that I need to send Yeah, come by. I'll leave some out for you. you got to tell her to do that. Yeah. But I love that. It's just everything that you're thankful for. It's just, it's a it's nice a time holiday. to reflect. It right. Do you guys And have it's not them? gifts. It's no, not about it's gifts. not gifts. It's right. just simple. Right. It's getting together, yeah. sharing food, sharing wine, and you're sharing right. food you know, and wine. And do you guys have together. any special traditions you do on Thanksgiving? We do have traditions. Um, my sister, long, long ago when we were little, started a tradition with the great turkey. Remember the great pumpkin from Charlie Brown? So the yes. great turkey would come to the house and <laughs> lead, leave us little gifts. So we still do that. We still so give everybody, gifts. like, li no, but they're little tiny, like, something. Yeah, meaningful. Yes, gifts. exactly. That's cute. Yeah. So that's our about you, Adrian. We do a you know you just variety. Look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Because there's so much food at Thanksgiving, I, I think what I did was one year, the girls were little and they were taking dance class and we host and there's like 20 people at our house so in between wow. dinner and dessert everyone goes into the family room and they did a little variety show and as we've added to our family more kids and we keep adding kids to our family we do a variety show in between the it's meal so and the it's dessert. It's like a talent show? Yes and we have a program and it's like my nephew will do like karate moves or like some gymnastic like moves he does. Show. Gabrielle will do like Irish dip dancing. Cute. Frankie will sing a song. I'm, I try to get the adults into it, but that's that's not really yeah. <laughs> yeah. So We don't do anything wine. that elaborate, but we do, you know, talk about what we're thankful for around the right. table. I think a lot of families do that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the kids like to do prayer, yeah. um, but we do go around and sometimes the kids will stand up like they're on the stage and they'll talk about their year, what they were so thankful for. And, and you have a big nice. family. We have a huge family, yeah. You yeah. so you host? I do not oh. host, which is why it's also <laughs> my favorite holiday. Nice. I mean, so I make some desserts, family. but okay. you know, my husband's Portuguese, and they eat like they don't just eat turkey. It's we like yeah, pig and go and yeah. and um, lasagna and like pig and go and like, lasagna. And they eat it all day. I'm like, right. yeah. what are you eating again? So by the time the turkey comes in my house, nobody wants Nobody's it. Hungry. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, why am I even making? I know turkey? my mother makes the Italian uh, meatball soup. So we have the soup first, and then we have the appetizers and the everything. And the, by the time it's I know, time to eat the turkey mm -hmm. comes, yeah. but well, it's, we it's have a so nice much tradition. What do you we do? Have a, we have a leftover party the next day. You do? Yeah, yeah. pretty oh, much. Yeah. From all, the, do you host or do you no, go to your no. family? Usually time? with my parents' house. And oh, then a little yeah. football after the meal. A little football. Put your and feet up. Let and watch the women clean. Is that what happens in the house, Mario? Or don't say yes. Yeah, you much. jump up in. Yeah, but but then, Mario. Just you know your audience here, Mario. Okay. I know, no, our, our tradition, our, me, me and my sister had a little tradition. We, we kind of plan out the Black Friday event. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Black Friday. Do you guys go shopping? Friday. We go shopping at like wow. 3 or 4 in the morning. Okay. That's what we should do. I that should be our tradition. I don't like shopping. I, don't like I only I, did that once ever when the kids yeah. were really little. No. Toys R Us one we time. Never did it again. Never, no. Toys R Us. I feel like the sales you can mm -hmm. get is like, but, um, so that's 
great traditions, and we are, as Lori said, it's a very, it's a nice month to kind of count our blessings mm -hmm. and talk about gratitude. Yeah, and one way that we thought um, people could give back, uh, especially local people who live in West Hartford, is we have a fund here called the Town That Cares. And it's a special fund established by the Town of West Hartford's Department of Human and Leisure Services. And it assists residents experiencing a financial crisis. So they help with um, food and utility bills and shelters and medical expenses and every other kind of critical need that a family might need. Um, it's funded 100% by contributions. So this month, we thought it might be nice if we put the town that cares on our Facebook page. And for people that are watching, people that log onto our Facebook page, if they want to make a donation, that's great. I mean, I know some kids' families do food drives um, around this time of the year. Yep, so, right. um, so we'll put that on our um, yeah. page. Fantastic. And yep. um, I think we're going to introduce our guests. Yes. So we are back, and we have some lovely ladies joining us tonight. Thank you both for being here. We're Thank just you. so excited Thank and you. thrilled. Um, so I'll introduce Sherry. Sherry Cantor um, is a dear friend, and she's our mayor of West Hartford. Sherry's been involved in local politics for 12 years, first starting on our town council. She's a mom of four and just a superwoman, and we're so thrilled to have you here. Aww. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's a wonderful Sherry. Welcome. Thank you. And Denise, Denise Burrard Hall is our minority leader. And she has lived in West Hartford since she was in middle school, went to a local high school, uh, went to UConn, left for a while, and has come back and has been here for 20, 20 years. years. Yep. Um, great. And welcome, Denise. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for having uh, us. Yeah, this is a lot more I, fun I just than having a <laughs> debate, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and I don't know if yeah. so How funny is it? We didn't plan this, that we all are wearing a <laughs> shade of navy. Right. And Mario it's has our flag black, on. It's right? all good. Yeah, so we're just so thrilled that you're here. And as we talked about our episode tonight is about women in politics tomorrow, November 8th is election day. Big day. Yep. Yeah, Big definitely. day. And you know, I was Making looking, history. Yep. I was looking up day for women. Yep, and I was looking up some statistics and even though women have the right to vote, only 43% of women in America vote today, which I, I found shocking, but you said, well, that's above the national average. Yeah. It's kind it, of higher than men. And it's higher it's than, higher than, than men. Than so why do you good. think that is? Why do I think it's so low? Or yes, why, do you think why it's so low? Mm -hmm. Well, both, I guess, but why, why so low? I, I think they're I think people get a little um, dissatisfied with politics and they don't feel it, it really impacts their lives. And I can't tell you how wrong that is. Right. Well, <coughs> those decisions are really, really important. Or they feel that their vote doesn't make a difference. Right. right. I hear that a lot too. Yeah. Because yeah. it's right. only one vote. Right. And, and especially, I think, with, uh, with the way the delegates are and the, uh, you know, it, 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 especially in a state that may be identified as a red state or a blue state, and if you feel differently, your state's going to go that way anyway, matter, right? so it right. may right. not. People think. Right. Or so one important. of the things that always gets me uh, a little upset is when people say, well, I only pay attention to national politics. I, you know, I don't bother voting when right. it's just I've the local elections. Local. Which but affects you know, them even more. Right, Absolutely. Because Absolutely. They right. They they're right here. Every, every part of your day, whether it's your kids going to school, it's the taxes you pay, right. it's mm -hmm. your public safety, right. yep. you know, those are the things that affect you. So to those say you're not going to be go. bothered with the local elections. Because somebody's right. there and right. somebody's being an activist for right. whatever cause of the law. And not on you. Right. And we thought that 43% is probably an average, probably higher on a federal election, okay. current presidential right. tomorrow, probably right. be higher. But on a town, it, it used to be, we used to win all these awards right. for Democracy Cup and pe the highest turnout. It's dropping. Dropped. People are mm -hmm. uh, disengaged. Probably and just uh, general dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. I think so. But uh, and, and I think, again, you look at Congress, it's got the lowest approving rating ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. and, and you can see right. where people are just turned off. But Sherry, you've been our mayor fairly recently. Very, yes, very yeah. recently. <laughs> um, right, I was deputy mayor for five years. But both and of you have been on the town council for a very, very yes. long time involved well, in public service. Right, here. Denise is very long. <laughs> Mine's very, very long. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But so. We've both been in town. We actually have very parallel lives, mm -hmm. I would say. A lot of our parents are the same age. We actually lost our dads within... What, a few, few weeks months of each other? A few months yeah. of, um, we both are very close to our mothers. Denise's mother is actually over in the wings. <laughs> yes, yeah. so, so sweet. But it's, yeah, so it's kind of a, 
on anything. But mm -hmm. um, but we've been involved, and we grew up here. I actually was born in West Hartford, and um, and went to uh, elementary school, junior high school, high school, and uh, left, came back, yeah. and I raised my kids here. And we were talking earlier about women in politics and. And, yeah, and how could we get involved mm -hmm. as women mm -hmm. in, in, locally in our town? So if you're a mom and you're sitting home right. and you're watching this, or you're just a mom, not just a mom. <laughs> We're not no. just a mom. No. <laughs> that would be a good like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me. Is that, you know, as Lori, Lori asked, how can moms make a difference? Right. I mean, right. what can From women well, from looking? What can women do? Whether it's small or large, mm -hmm. what would you yeah. suggest? There, there are so many ways to get involved in this town. It never ceases to amaze me how many volunteers um, get involved in things. At Town Hall, we have over 20 boards and commissions that we rely on our residents to help support the the workings of the town whether it's our pension board that makes a lot of very important decisions on the pension or whether it's our senior citizen advisory committee that are, you know they look out for all the different ways that we want to make sure that this is a friendly community for senior citizens our bicycle advisory committee it just it runs the, mayor's the gamut Yep. Board. Right. 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 All, all so of these do not make me feel guilty. If you uh, take an interest in something, you don't necessarily have to have a government or political I think background. People get intimidated. Yeah, I was just going to say that, and they feel like they're going to ask a dumb question. Right. Right. This, this yeah. is what I think the, the gateway for a lot of women is: in your comfort zone and your community tends to be your children's schools. Right. So yeah. it's an easy way. I think I was a room parent for 14 years straight, or something crazy <laughs> like yeah. it, that's why know. we drink wine. Yeah. <laughs> right. PTO. But it's an easy way to then meet people and then network right. I All ended up I, and I think a lot right. of leaders that we that end up going into maybe town council or board mm -hmm. of education tend to be PTO or P, yeah, presidents so okay. or it prepares you because you, yeah. 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 you deal with wacky parents yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 a wacky PTO parent president. Some people may be a little more passionate. But, but, that's, a good, but that's a good, but that's a good <laughs> way to kind of sort of, I guess, get involved at a local level, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, it's I think West Hartford is a very um, active I community. So like, very I think people active. do stand up for what they believe in. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't really drive through the center without seeing somebody out there. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yep. As the yeah. director yeah. of Human yeah. and Leisure yeah. Services said, she said that, uh, you know, West Hartford is not a spectator sport. And right. that's what's, oh, you know, that's I like that. Yes. I know. Well, there, there's How a lot of educated people in town, too, mm -hmm. I feel like. A lot of, mm -hmm. whether you're born here, you come back here, or you just end up residing here. There mm -hmm. just seems to be a lot of. Well, we were just ranked 15th in Money Magazine out of yes. many, many mm -hmm. communities. I think 850 made the final, sort of that final cut. Mm -hmm. And I, one of the reasons. I would say the primary reason is because of our residents. And our female they, people in public service. Of course. Yeah. But, that's right. You know, that's it. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I think we've, de we've determined that this is probably the first time in West Hartford's history that we had a female mayor and a female minority leader. Well, yeah, we were well looking cheers at that to you both. <laughs> we have to do a cheers. Yeah. Yeah. We wish we, we had some yes. celebratory yes. music. So, in other words, yeah. things are going to get done. Yeah. No. <laughs> we can have cheers. 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 Yeah. cheers. cheers. We're not done with the interviews. Just, no. just cheers. <laughs> cheers. And a little music. Cheers. Just to lighten it up. A little different than the town hall meeting, Sherry, right? Absolutely. Maybe we'll have to do that. Yeah. Those zoning meetings would go a lot. We give you permission. But I, but I think um, it's important for women Fireball, to, no. women and men, but we're focusing on women tonight, mm -hmm. is to vote mm -hmm. and to pay attention to who's running your local government. Mm -hmm. I mean, stay informed. Right. Stay informed. And there's right. nine voting districts mm -hmm. in West Hartford, is yes. that right? So we'll put those nine voting districts up on our... Facebook page, mm -hmm. people know where they can vote. Right, right. And, right. and also, I mean, this TV station right here, we're yeah. so lucky we have this. Absolutely. And all of the candidates running for office right now have all um, recorded couple. profiles. Yep. You can go to West Hartford Community TV. You can view um, debates, not only right. the debates, debates yep, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's another way to get informed, hear what the different candidates are are interested right. in and what the they're we're fo yes. focusing on. So I mean, in the and the town council meetings, are, they're they're open, open. for. I mm -hmm. mean, people can come if there's an issue that they're talking right. about, like whether it's development downtown. Mm -hmm. We post which I know it. is a big issue right, right now. Mm -hmm. We post our agendas on the website a week before, and then 
at, within that week period, there may be more detailed materials that come out. But if you are interested in coming up to and there's an issue that affects you, uh, you can speak to that and you have, you know, it, it, it's a little intimidating, but it's important for, for us to hear from the public. Mm -hmm. Otherwise and, you don't know, are, they, is it, are we on the right path? Exactly. Are we not on the right path? Right. Are exactly. people behind what we're doing? Mm -hmm. or not? I and mean, the I, more educated you are, I think we're all very inundated and you as moms of children <laughs> at home, mm -hmm. um, my kids are actually all, I'm an empty nest this year, but mm -hmm. Uh, it is you're bombarded with information, mm -hmm. and I remember that first day of school, and you get the, the, the kids packets. come home, oh, and you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. oh my gosh! And yeah. you multiply it by coming. four, and you really have to fill out the medical forms. You right. can't yeah. just yeah. check out, you know. I right? know. Yeah. <laughs> I think but, my, you're getting hand cramp, really. Yeah, exactly. I mean. Right. But you you have that, and you and it's just again so much information from the schools, from everything that's happening around you. To get information and to have that give and take with elected mm -hmm. leaders is critical. So for us to be in the public is really important. Well, we so appreciate everything that you do for our town, both of you, because yes. I yeah. feel like it's, a, it's spectacular it's a great town. town, and it's great town for raising our children. I mean, great because town. we do have bicycles and bicycle paths, and we do have open parks, and we have town hall meetings. We have elected leaders that want to hear what mm -hmm. we think is important. I mean, Lori has a high schooler, so she's at the high school level now, mm -hmm. and she's facing different issues mm -hmm. there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Yeah. It passes. It's great. It's great, though. Yeah. It's wonderful. But I think it's important for women to absolutely stay informed. So thank you both again. Oh, thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we hope we'll raise money for the town that cares. We hope we'll get more people mm -hmm. involved. So if people want to, say I'm sitting at home yeah. and I'm watching this, and I say, well, that's interesting. Maybe I do want to join a commission mm -hmm. or a board. Mm -hmm. How do does somebody? Well, there's a wealth of information on the town's website, uh, West Hartford CT Gut. Gov. And if you click on, you know, town council and boards and commissions, it goes through and, um, you know, and surprisingly, goes through. there's a lot that have uh, open there's spots. Openings, there's openings. Oh, Aren't you on like a human and rights I am commission? On a human rights commission, yeah. and I know that we have commission spots available. I know mm -hmm. people are coming up for term. They're mm -hmm. going to be leaving. So I, there's a lot of stuff. Stuff because I've looked mm -hmm. at other uh, groups in town mm -hmm. too, and there's a lot of open. And if Box. there's not an open spot now, there could be in right. the next mm -hmm. few months. So. And our emails are right on the um, the website too. So if you have an interest, just email one of us. Um, typically, the can way we can stop you at the grocery store. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If I don't have ice cream. Yes. <laughs> All right. But that way, we can figure out what you know what suits your interests yeah. or or what have you. That's really the way I first got involved when. Um, uh, the town was looking to fill a spot on the investment advisory committee, and so I started volunteering on investment because advisory. Because that's your because your my field. background that's is yes, finance, yes. and so then the next thing, after my term was up there, I went on the risk management advisory board, and then when my term was up there, I you know was working with the veterans to do um, to raise the money to build our memorial in town and. Then I got to the point where I'm like, okay, I've run out of the committees that <laughs> right. you know were appropriate for for what I was trying to do, and that's when I decided to run because I thought the finance background would be helpful. And and you've proven and then correct. Here I am. <laughs> and <laughs> true, who runs yeah. things better? I mean, yeah. really, than women? I mean, really. If you want something done, <laughs> really, who do we give it to? Yeah. Right. Detail-oriented yes. folks. Yes. 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 Sorry, oh, Mario. Mario. <laughs> This is morning empowerment right here. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you yeah. so much, thank both you, of you, ladies. for joining thank us. You. Thank, thank you for having us. And this we'll have you back again. Great. We have some Anytime. wine as a party yes, gift. Yes, we do. We have a couple we of guests. We always forget to give our guests. Oh, oh, so fun. Sure, so we heard you like red wine, too, and now back is the wine. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is the one I got left out of my Okay. It's better. So, that was show. That was show, ladies. Yes. I love having powerful women on our Strong, show. smart, powerful women leading our town. Yeah. Sherry and Denise are They're amazing. Lot, yeah. Really yeah. running yeah. our yeah. town. We have them here tonight. We are. Really? So hopefully everybody will get out and vote. Yep. And we, we didn't want to end before we did a thank you to Envy by you Elizabeth. You our new, our new little glasses. Wine glasses. Wine glasses. Big, they're big, they're big yes. wine glasses. You can't miss the initials. Big We're not going to spill them. them. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. And we like them because they have our number, our initial. Thank you, our initial on them. Yeah. No more wine. We can wash our glasses. And we can That's right. take our glasses home and, and ourselves. Yeah. And um, so that was a great episode. Stay tuned. We're going to have more 
um, things that we're going to announce at our next, our December yep, show. December show will be great. Yes. So but we'll everyone have a great Thanksgiving. Don't Happy forget Thanksgiving. to vote tomorrow. Don't forget to vote and don't forget, you put the time in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take time, time out. out. What's the place where you go every night and you snuggle up real tight? Is it in front of your screen where everything we show is exactly how it seems? Everything we show is right for you. Everything we show is true, true, true. So get your drink and give us a wink because what you're watching is mom's time out.